Yo guys, Codelife here. So in today's video, we're going to be checking out all of the settings, controller binds, and peripherals that Scoped is currently using to play Fortnite in Chapter 2, Season 2. If you guys, by the way, don't have any idea who Scoped or Tyler is, I really don't know how, because for one, he's Tfue's duo partner, and for reason number two, he's one of the best controller players in the game at the minute, guys. To prove just how good he really is, check out this clip of him pretty much 1v2 in both Liquid Chap and AV last night during the FNCS tournament. They're fighting, we just need a third party, third party. I got knocked, I think. Yeah, oops, Rack just got on. I don't have a shotgun or a shield, bro. Get on me. That guy's got one HP on me. I'm dead, I'm dead. I have no sh shotgun again. Oh, there's a shotgun on that guy. Get a guy there. Get into the garage, maybe. Get on me. my card. As you all seen from that clip right there, Tyler really is just an absolute beast at the game. But yeah, I'll be covering literally everything in this video, guys, regarding his setup. When I say everything, I do mean that. We'll be looking at what his colorblind settings are, all the way to which binds he's got set up for his controller paddles. Like everything gets covered on this channel, we literally go into everything. With that being the case, though, if there is a specific part in this video that you would like to skip to, then feel free to, as I'll throw the timestamps on screen right now now. Also, quickly guys, before we do go ahead and start the video off, I want to quickly say that if this video does help you out, then be sure to drop a like on it, as that would really help me out. And if you do happen to be new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button too, so that you don't miss out on any future uploads like this one. As well as that guys, make sure to use someone's creator code in the Fortnite item shop when you do go ahead and purchase any skins. It can be Scope's code, which is currently Scoped FN, or it can be my code, which is Code Life. It really does help us both out a ton guys if you do use either one of our codes so if you do thank you all so much it really is appreciated now though guys let's jump straight into the video and we'll start off with checking out tyler's updated fortnite settings starting off with his video settings first so for these his window mode is on full screen his resolution is the default 1920 by 1080 and his frame rate limit is set to 240 fps to match his monitor's refresh rate for his brightness he's got that set to the default which is a 100%. His user interface contrast is on 1x and his colorblind mode is set to tritonope on the strength number 6. The reason for why he uses this specific colorblind guys is to brighten up his game at night. If any of you watching haven't seen tritonope on strength number 6 at night I'll put some gameplay in the background of that but from that gameplay guys you'll all see just how good this setting is at night time like it pretty much makes everything much more brighter and clearer to see. That's coming as well from someone who's literally compared every single colorblind mode in Fortnite, so you really can trust my opinion on that. If you do, by the way, want to see that video for yourselves, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Next, we've got Tyler's graphics quality settings. For these, he's got everything turned off slash turned to low, except his view distance. That's currently set to medium to allow him better visibility on weapons and chests when he is landing in-game. For his DirectX version, that's on 11. He's got short FPS turned on. On, and he's also got allow multi-threaded rendering turned on. Next up is his game settings. For these, he's got the sprint by default option turned on, auto open doors turned on, auto sword consumables to the right is turned off, edit on release is turned on, and tap to search slash interact is turned on. Next are his hood options. For these, Tyler has all these options turned on except the creative stats one at the bottom, that's turned off. He's also got his hood set at 70%. Next up are his controller options. For these, Tyler is using the linear look control setting, and these are his sensitivities that he's got configured to that setting. His build mode is on 2.3x, and his edit mode is on 2.4x. He's got both his X and Y look sensitivities set to 43%. His horizontal ADS is set to 15%, and his vertical ADS is set to 12%. For his controller dead zone options, he's got the move stick set to 10%, 
and the look stick is on 10% as well. Next, we've got Tyler's audio settings. These are actually set up to be pretty standard. His music and cinematics are on zero. His voice chat is on 72% and his sound effects are on 87%. He's also got his sound quality set to high and he does not use any 3D audio options. Moving on guys, I'll now show you all of Tyler's controller binds. Before I do go ahead though and show you guys all of them, I want to quickly mention about his paddle binds first that he's got set up. For these guys, he is only using two paddles out of the four that he's got on his controller, which for those, he's using the two on the left hand side. The far left paddle is bound to his jump, and then the right one is bound to his switch mode. That's his paddle binds though guys, let's now take a look at all of his controller binds. And moving on yet again guys, we'll now take a look at all of the peripherals that Tyler is currently using. So starting off with his controller, Tyler is now using a brand new SCUF impact controller that's been customised. This new one replaces his old super beaten up scuff controller that you guys can all see on screen right now. Which by the way, fun fact, I'm pretty sure scuff were the ones that sent this new one out to him for completely free. Big up to scuff for that one. But for this new controller guys, it's been customised a fair bit. It features a honeycomb white shell, white trim rings, a black glossy button kit, standard triggers and bumpers, and the right slash left thumbsticks are concave in the colour white. Also so Scope does not have any control freaks attached to his thumbsticks and he just holds his controller in the standard way, he doesn't use any fancy grips like claw. Going back to his Fortnite setup though, his monitor is the Alienware AW2518H, which if you didn't know, that's a 240Hz monitor. His headset is the Astro A40s in the colour white, and the microphone that he's currently using is the Shure SM7B. And yeah, that's all of Tyler's peripherals covered, now let's check out all of his gaming PC specs. And yeah guys, that's all I've got for today regarding scoped or Tyler's Fortnite settings, controller binds and peripherals today. If this video was at all helpful guys in any sort of way, I'd appreciate it greatly if you could drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel and use either code CODELIFE or code SCOPEFN in the Fortnite item shop. By doing any of those three, you'll be helping myself out a ton and also scoped if you do go ahead and use his code. I'll also by the way guys, leave all of his socials in the description below, so again, please go check him out if you haven't already, the guy is a beast. And yeah as well, if anything does change regarding his Fortnite setup, or his controller binds or settings, I'll be sure to let all of you guys know in my pro player update series. But yeah, that is all I've got for today guys, thank you all so much for watching, hope you all have a great day, peace.